Yo, it's Grand Bash, your boy Tex is back on some Madden Ultimate Team 16 with a 500,000 coin Madden Ultimate Team pack holding. I went ahead and wasted a bunch of coins on packs. This was going to be a live comp, but turns out packs weren't that great. So I'm going to go ahead and spoil the video for you guys right now. I don't pull anything. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. I don't pull anything except two elite cards and two elite redemption items, and I also pull a blitz ticket which why are they still in packs why are they still in packs those blitz tickets can honestly like they're, they're, it was fun while it lasted but there's only one set left and i don't think if i even spend five million coins i will pull enough blitz tickets to get the uh, dick lane like that's not gonna happen at all so take them out of packs because it got me excited i thought i was going to be pulling the team of the week collectible like oh yeah, yeah. no i was so disappointed in that but anyway the question of the day for this video i want to ask you guys is this how long or how many packs have you guys pulled in this game and not gotten a elite card because in this video i spent about four hundred thousand coins and don't get no elite player man and it's kind of crazy to like like imagine that considering that if you go to the auction block right now if you go if you log on to madden on xbox ps4 xbox 360 ps3 you log on and there are elite cards going for less than 9,000 coins, less than 8,000 coins. I got Tony Romo, Jason Witten, uh, Georgie Loka. A lot of these cards are going for super cheap. And yet you pull packs and you don't seem to get those cards. It's like, how does that make sense? It doesn't make any damn sense at all whatsoever. And I'm just trying to figure out why the pack odds are just the same as they were when the game launched, actually, I think they're worse. When the game first launched, you could pull elite cards like every like four packs. Now it seems to be like just super, super rare. And I understand why making cards valuable, all that jazz, but it just seems to be like you spend 5,000 coins on packs, you should probably pull a little bit more base elite cards. Like that just seems to be something that should be a an occurrence. So I, let me know down in the comment section below how many packs you guys have pulled in this game and, ha and have not gotten elite cards. Because I see people buy bundles. People buy, buy go ahead and spend hundred dollars on bundles on game changer bundles uh, ultimate pack bundles and well ultimate pack probably guarantees an elite but still stuff like that where they don't guarantee an elite card it's just packs that cost hundred dollars and not get an elite it's just something that probably shouldn't happen at this point in the game so anyway even though elite cards are hard as hell to pull madden has done an excellent job so far to make these packs kind of worth pulling so what i'm doing right now i, I just waste five thousand coins i probably made back Let's see, the cards that I pull, the cards that I can actually sell that go for something on the auction block, I probably made back at the most 150k, and that's if everything sells, but right now prices are plummeting on some of the cards that I pulled. And that probably, well, last year, that would have made me upset. Me spending the coins that I pretty much grinded solos to get, sold cards to get all that, it would have it would have hurt me to my core. I would have been so salty, so angry, cussing EA out, bleep you, y'all did this shit, it is terrible, all that jazz. But because they given us an opportunity to recoup those coins this year, I can't be too upset. So I went ahead and collected every single one of the cards that I couldn't sell, which is pretty much every silver player, bronze player, team item that isn't Kim Boosted, and maybe the Eagles and Panthers playbook. But I collected all those cards into the sets, and that yielded out with a bunch of batch pack. I have 28 three batch packs, five 13 batch packs, 10 eight batch packs, and then I have, or eight 10 batch packs, hell am I talking about? And I have two 19 batch packs, okay? So I have all these badge packs, which is over 250 badges. And if I pull the appropriate amount, if I pull 50 bronze badges, but I'm probably gonna pull a lot more than that. If I pull 50 bronze badges, or if I get 50 bronze badges with 50 silver and 50 gold, I can go ahead and get, you know, 10 large quick sales, which then would be enough for me to go ahead and possibly make back the coins that I lost pulling these packs. And if I don't want those, I can always just sell the bronze badges, upgrade the silver to gold, and upgrade the gold to elite, sell the elite badges, or do some flashback packs, do some elite exchange stuff, stuff like that that'll give me the opportunity to make coins as well. So even though you're not really gonna make all your coins back, you have the opportunity to. And that is why this year's Madden pulling packs is completely worth it with coins. Like I don't see the need at this point to go ahead and buy the bundles that come to the store. Pro pack is the most valuable bundle in this game simply because the amount of coins that you can get out of the pro pack. And it's really the only bundle that comes to the game that makes sense to buy with coins. The all pro pack bundle in the game right now doesn't make any sense. You get three gold cards and a badge. 
So three gold cards and a badge in this game is about, we'll just say a silver badge. Three pro packs is about 2,200, 22,000 coins, I should say. And a silver badge is an additional, you know, <laughs> it's an additional 1,000 coins. So it doesn't make any sense to buy with coins. And because the pro packs have all this value in it, you can still pull legends out of it. You can still pull legendary collectibles. You can still pull elite team of the week items, all that shit out of the pro pack. And then if nothing comes out of the pro pack, you can go ahead and put those in sets and get stuff out of the sets potentially. It, it's just like, this is pretty cool. Pulling 500,000 coins doesn't mean you're going to lose 500,000 coins like it used to. I like this now. I like, I'm liking Madden a lot more now. I'm liking this game a whole hell of a lot more now because you pretty much can't go broke. Like you can if you get scammed, your account gets hacked, all that shit. But you pretty much can't go broke unless you just have the unluckiest luck in the world. Like unless you don't pull anything out of your large quick sell, out of your flashbacks, or if you just don't sell the cards you pull, like you could pretty much do this all day, every day. And that is the mark of a good game. A good game that you can play all the damn time. This game went from being a once a day game, a once a weekend, to a game that you could play pretty much damn near every day. And that's pretty cool. So even though I'm probably gonna lose coins in this, I'm probably not gonna pull the, what I want out of these badge packs or what I want out of the large quick sales. Who knows, maybe the 500k I lost will turn into only 200,000 coins lost and that will yield two videos for you guys to watch, possibly even three. That's pretty dope. So that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, didn't really pull anything great. If you guys pull Brandon Marshall, let me down in the comment section below. I saw Zodiac pull Brandon Marshall. Congrats on that pull, man. Yo, your luck's coming your way right now. You got that Doug Martin. Now you got that uh, Brandon Marshall. Hopefully you have fun with him. He's going for around 400,000 coins. And I'd sell him right the hell away, considering that that card's actually pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know if you guys pulled Brandon Marshall. Let me know if you guys pulled the Team of the Week collectible. If you guys uh, did, sell that bad boy right now and wait for the collectibles price to drop. And then go ahead and pick up Patrick Peterson later on. But that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch y'all mother bleepers in the next one. Peace.